Diesel. Morning. Top of this fine morning to you guys. Top of this, the very top of it. Diesel, that looks like a great pulse right there. Oh, 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 okay, let's just pull me right down to it, why not? Let's make me fall on my face first thing in the morning. Lancaster, Ontario. Just woke up, figuring out what's going on. And I think from here, we're gonna head through Montreal, up north to St. Adele. And that's where we're gonna make our first drop, so. Oh, let's wake ourselves up and get her done. It's cold out here. What is this, Canada? Alright, 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 alright. Another new day begins. Look at that sunshine. Let's put her in gear here. The truck is all set and ready to rock. The lights are on. We're just gonna wait for this truck that's coming in here. This is a busy truck stop. Like I was telling you last night, busy, busy here. It wouldn't have hurt to make it a little bit bigger, but I guess they just didn't have the space. All right, now let's go. Let's give her. Let's give her, give her, give her. off let's go or shake the snow off in this case what is that Bob T tack shop in front of us there what's a tack shop a tackle for fishing drive 200 meters then turn left on two Highway 2, oh, ha, <laughs> uh, ha, Turn left onto 2. All right, Montreal. I'd like to bring your attention to that van off to our left there in the center lane. Does anybody recognize that placard that is on it? According to that placard, that minivan is hauling nuclear Radioactive material, actually I shouldn't say nuclear. <laughs> Hauling radioactive material. I don't know if it's nuclear or not. Is it the same thing? What do I know? Totally just made myself look like an idiot there. I don't know the difference. That van anyways is hauling radioactive stuff. A minivan. What are you up to, Quebec? Minivans with nuclear bombs or what? delivered our uh, delivery here. This was the hardest one, so it's done. So now we got an easier one today yet. Yeah, we're going all the way to Jean Queer. I think that's how you say it, Jean Queer. Jean Queer. And I just called there and uh, I was lucky enough I found someone there who spoke English who could uh, confirm that I could come deliver it today or later today it or whenever I get there uh, before when I had called them. Uh, it's usually not so hard to communicate you know it does get frustrating when there's two separate languages in the country and uh, but you know it's just the way it is we just got to accept that and it's frustrating when someone comes to our part of the country who doesn't know how to speak English right but they speak French uh, it's just as frustrating for them when I come to their part of the country and don't speak a word of French the language that they speak in their language. so I always start off the conversation as politely as I can They'll always answer the phone, oui, bonjour, I don't know what they're saying, but they're saying something in French. And right off the bat, I go, oui, bonjour, like, yes, hello. And then I'll say, I'm very sorry, but my French is terrible. Is it okay if I speak in English? And that way, I'm not offending them by just being like, bah, I'm speaking English. Learn English or whatever, right? It's, it's Quebec. They speak French here. So, though I do not speak the language, if you do come to Quebec, just be respectful of the fact that that's the language that they speak. Personally, I think the whole country should be under one language, and I'm not saying it has to be English either. 
the whole country could be French. That's okay. All I'm saying is that we need uh, unity. We should have unity. If if we we should have just one language. If we want to speak French, we should all speak French. One language or English. We should all speak. English. I think it would just make business transactions easier. But that's just not the way the world works in Canada. In Canada, there are two official languages, and whether you like it or not, that's the way it is. So. A little point of advice to everybody when you come to Quebec, be polite. It's frustrating, I know, everywhere else you go, everywhere else, Canada and the United States, everywhere, everyone speaks English. You come here and you're like, uh, why don't you speak the language that everyone else speaks? It just makes it difficult. And yes, it does, but getting frustrating, getting frustrated about it and being rude to them about it is not going to help. It's uh, not going to help. No, no, nothing else to say about that. So, politeness, just explain to them. I don't speak French and I'm very sorry. Be Canadian about it, apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry I don't speak your language, I'm sorry. <laughs> Very Canadian. And uh, to say, ask permission. Is it okay if I speak in English? And you know, if they don't speak English, they're not gonna be rude to you. What can they do? Like, you don't speak the language, they'll find someone who can help you in the language that you speak in English. You're not bad at French, right, Diesel? No, oh, yeah, man, I know my French, man. It's bonjour. Diesel, we, we went over this yesterday. It's bonjour. Bonjour. It's bonjour, man. That's the way it's spelled. Bonjour. No, it's bonjour. You gotta say it like you're trying to impress a beautiful woman. Bonjour, mademoiselle. I said it wrong, didn't I? Dang it! Bonjour, mademoiselle. Mademoiselle? Mademoiselle. Or is it mademoiselle? Mademoiselle. Dang it! I'm not gonna impress anybody if I don't know how to say it right. Jeez, man, you should stop trying. It's bonjour. Not bonjour. Bonjour. French is a beautiful language. And it earns you brownie points if you can s speak to me in French. <laughs> bonjour, mademoiselle. Come on, ça va. Come on, you can't say that. Who can resist that? Have me a girlfriend in no time. <laughs> Stop laughing at me, Diesel. Can't blame a man for trying. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Come on, ça va. It's my new pickup line. It's gonna work. Tell you what, I just gotta say it in the right tone. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Bon, 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 bonjour, mademoiselle. I gotta practice. Diesel, tell me if I'm safe. No, you don't even know how to say it, man. Never mind. Continue 2.6 kilometers, then take ramp. Left. Hello, miss. How are you? If you're wondering what I'm saying, it's just simple. It's not even that <laughs> creative a line. Hello, how are you? But hey, if you say it in French, total, total different feeling you get from it. Bonjour, mademoiselle. A hot language. Look at that big bus. Saint Adele here. We'll continue to practice our French, our pickup lines. Somebody teach me a really good pickup line in French. Leave it down below in the comments, but make sure you leave the English translation. Keep them clean. I don't need any dirty pickup lines. I'm not trying to scare them away now. <laughs> Everyone's gonna go to the comments now. I want to learn French pickup lines. <laughs> Nice little town in here though, eh? Lots of snow in this area. Winter uh, winter sports are big around here. One thing you gotta hand to Quebecers, they love winter. They have the, the winter festival in Quebec City every winter. They have, everybody's got a snowmobile it seems. We got ski hills, bogging, all kinds of stuff going on in Quebec in the winter time. They embrace winter. Well, the rest of Canada does too, but they do it in a very unique way here in Quebec. They uh, they really like their winter. I mean, you don't really got a choice. You sort of just gotta like it. Check out this baby of a load. 
would love to be pulling that. That's a dump truck if I've ever seen one. to go down the freeway 73 Nord but instead I went down 73 Sud so we had to do a little loop to do had an overpass here and uh, get ourselves pointed the right direction again except they don't make these corners very nice at all they're so tight in North America. And it is very, very French. The majority, the majority of the population here, now I'm not speaking from experience, I'm just speaking from what I've heard. The majority of the population here Continue 1.3 kilometers. Does not then speak English. Onto 173. I was interrupted. They don't speak English, the most of the people here. They just speak French, French only. And, you know, that's what I've heard, and that's pretty much what I've experienced from this place, too. I mean, it's hard to find someone to get directions from and stuff. That's all right. It's a very beautiful city. You can always come and visit it if you want to. City. 
uh, close to it. It'll be, uh, it's called Loretteville. Let's see if I can get around this corner. <laughs> so we're sleeping here about an hour from Quebec City, uh, a little uh, north of the city. It's minus 15 Celsius right now. The low is minus 20 approximately, minus 19 to be exact. Uh, so it's a little cold out there. And let's do the little conversion here for, for everybody. Uh, so right now we're sitting at just above zero Fahrenheit. And the low is just below zero Fahrenheit. So we're going to be staying nice and warm tonight in the truck, hopefully. If not, I stopped here because they got a building right over there. If the worst were to happen and the truck stops running, I can just go inside there and keep warm in there, right? So I don't know exactly where this place is or what it's called, but it's on Highway 175 north of Quebec City going towards Saguenay. Or Sagan Gui, Sagan Gui, something like that. Sorry, I can't pronounce anything out here. And yeah, we're just gonna walk the weasel here and then we're gonna edit this up and quickly call it a night. We gotta be up early tomorrow. They want me there at 7 a.m. So that means I've gotta get up at it like five. Cause I've got an hour's drive from where I am right now. And I've gotta wake up, get ready, have breakfast, all that stuff, walk the weasel, you know, the usual morning routine. And then drive an hour there yet, hoping for good weather. Let's walk the weasel. Let's do it. Let's do this, Diesel. You ready? You ready? I've been ready this whole time, man. You, you're talking to yourself, man. I want to go outside. I've lived through many, many of these winters. But every time winter time comes around and it actually gets cold, you're like, whoa! That's cold. Diesel likes to play in the snow. Diesel, don't eat yellow snow. Oh yeah, I made some yellow snow over there, man. You want some? No thanks. No thanks, you can have it. But don't eat it. So, like I was saying, I really have no idea where we are here. But... So there's sort of this little... little thing with Jigger here. So that's where we are. Whatever that says. And that's the building. And we're all parked over there. And I miss the south. I want to go back to the south. I don't like it up here. It's cold, it hurts my fingers. Yeah. About cold enough to freeze your nipples off. If you're not careful. Whew. What do you think of that diesel? Poor guy, your feet got cold, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, he didn't want to be outside anymore. Usually he just well, doesn't want to come in. Now he's like, I don't want to go in. I don't want to go in, man. It's cold, man. It's not actually that cold. Not that cold. Only minus 20. Believe me, it gets a lot colder than this yet. This is just the first time I've experienced this cold this winter so far. So the first time is always like speechless, you know. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I like how my beard is like <laughs> doesn't fit into my jacket. <laughs> that looks funny. I'm gonna go like this. We'll see you tomorrow, anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time, if I don't mess up the scheduling again like I did today. Today I released 2, 219 before 218. 218 was supposed to go up today, but for some reason I scheduled 219 to go up, so I had to put 218 up so that it made sense, right? So now tomorrow there's no video. But 
but if there is a video tomorrow for you, there should be, unless if I mess it up again. Anytime after 4 a.m. Go down below to the description, press the show more button. Uh, there's a bunch of links there. You can press and click, see where they take you. It's a link there to my uncle's fundraiser. He has MS and uh, we're still raising money for him to get to his goal. Uh, so we can get him his treatments so he can uh, keep working and supporting his family. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching today and I'll see you tomorrow. Do you hear that rattling? I'm going to have to fix that.